Target. Good job. When we talk about training animals, a lot of people get the impression that we're training animals to do tricks. But here at the North Carolina Zoo, it's a completely different story. We work with our animals uh, with positive reinforcement based training and what this is is we get the animals to cooperate in their daily care by reinforcing the behaviors that we would like for the animals to, um, to do. Target. What I do is um, have her nose target my hand. I want her to be as still as possible. So we're taking Kelly for a walk and sometimes she goes where she shouldn't go so we have this target stick. Kelly target. Training is one of the most rewarding parts of our job because it really helps us build positive relationships with an animal. An animal looks forward to seeing us when we come, um, they trust us, and, uh, and therefore it's just a wonderful partnership between us as the keepers and the animals. Kelly! The trust and bond between the keepers and the animals is very important and also absolutely necessary in several ways. For example, by building a strong trust, many medical checkups and procedures can be performed by the trainers or, when necessary, prepare the animals for procedures that would require the attention of the zoo veterinarian. The keepers will, which you oftentimes don't see, is they're training the animals to participate in their own healthcare. Kelly the Cape Porcupine is being trained to participate in a saline flush of her mouth using a syringe. This is done to prevent an infection after a tooth extraction. And in a different part of the park, Twix the Kudu is getting trained to handle needles. Hold, poke, good girl. And so my thing is, what I'm working on is slowly just getting more and more pressure. So when she actually does get a blood draw, it won't be new to her. Taking a blood sample is not always the easiest thing to do, but important in order to understand the health of the animals. Through training, Twix is learning to stand still and allow the trainers to practice the blood draw. Similarly, the Red River Hog is trained to allow the trainer to examine her and to get on the scale when it's time to measure the weight. The appreciated belly scratch is the reinforcer for the behavior. But for some of the animals, basic medical procedures like this could become more than difficult if it wasn't for this type of training. Take Nick for example. Nick is our uh, large male polar bear. We don't want to do anesthesia every year because there's a risk associated with all anesthetic procedures. So if we can get blood from him without having to put him under anesthesia, hey, that's good for me, it's good for him. And that's not an animal you want to be in there with. He is 1,200 pounds of pure muscle. The polar bears have been trained to participate in all kinds of examinations like presenting their paws, stand up straight, and such things as allowing the keepers to take a blood sample when necessary. Procedures that without training would otherwise have required anesthesia. And, besides daily care and medical examinations, behavioral training also has educational importance, allowing visitors to the zoo a chance to meet some of the zoo animals up close. These conures are trained to voluntarily kennel so they can be taken to various locations around the park to interact with guests. We like to inspire visitors to be more passionate about birds, also educate them. I enjoy just the moment of awe people see when they see the birds come out and fly and we take it for granted the cool things we get to see every day but um, people really grow a new appreciation for birds when they see them in an area that would be like their natural habitat and I also love it when the, when the kids participate and getting to inspire that. Training is all about choice. Uh, the keepers can ask an animal to do a behavior, and if the animal chooses to do the behavior, they get rewarded for it. If they choose not to do the behavior, nothing happens. So it doesn't take out of that trust bank at all. Owie, Nigel! This has been a really fun day here at the zoo. If you like this video, we have some more videos from the zoo, of course. So we are putting up some links here and then also in the description below. So check those out, and thanks everyone for watching. See you in another video.